We're in Arjeplog, Sweden, near the Arctic Circle. This one traffic light town used to also be a one industry town. What helped bring the change? Broadband. In the 60s, 70s and even the 80s we were very dependent on the lead mining and the, the forest industry and uh, slowly the, that industry started to change and uh, uh, decrease and in that time we were f discussing what are we going to do now. The Swedish government kicked in about two million euros and the community built a broadband network. The faster, better communication brought jobs. Here in Arjeplog we have uh, one and a half percent unemployment for women and uh, about between three and a half and five, six percent for men. The main credit for that is the, the excess of the internet and the broadband since we have service companies that rely on the, on the broadband access. In addition, broadband kept the lucrative car testing industry in town worth about 38 million euros a year. Vehicle makers from all over the world come here to test their cars in winter conditions. Two years ago, things were different. Before broadband, of course, we had modem. And everything was like on the Stone Age, <laughs> I think. <laughs> they need to make sure that they can send test results and so on very fast in big files, often to Asia and Germany or Australia. Many of those same clients stay at Hotel Silverhatten, Guests can book rooms from their home base and see when the room is ready. Booking by broadband has paid off. We have almost doubled the profit from the year before until the year with broadband. So it's, for us it's very, very important. The Swedish National Road Administration put one of its four hubs in Arjeplog and working there is easier with broadband. As soon as you do something on the computer, it's registered. It's done, and we're all hooked up together. It doesn't matter if we're sitting here in the northern part of Sweden doing it. It's like we're across from each other, very close. It brings us close to each other. It's really important for me as a politician to secure that the companies of, of my community have the same possibilities as the companies have in the southern, southern part of Sweden. That's an example on a fairly small scale. Now think big, think Europe and a project called Multi-Service Access Everywhere, MUSE. This research and development project aims to design a broadband network hooking up 80% of Europeans by 2010. We intend to do uh, for broadband services what we did before for mobile telephony with GSM. That's the big ambition. It is to create a service, uh, broadband, for everybody. Broadband infrastructure is nowadays considered as a key enabler for the future economic growth. Just as before, we used roads, we used trains as infrastructure for economic growth. Nowadays is communication infrastructure, and that means broadband. Since it's a Europe-wide effort, the broadband network can be implemented in a more cost-effective way so Europe as a whole, rather than its individual parts, can keep a competitive edge. They have to play at European level in order that they create critical mass to compete globally. 
the European Commission's unit selected the consortium of 34 operators, vendors and researchers and provides half of the research purse. Uh, it's a 34 million euro project so, and in, from the Commission part we finance 18.6 million. And then the consortium itself financed the, the, the other 50%. In two years, the team is expected to announce how a European broadband network would best be planned and implemented. The result, two years after that, intends to be a network that's not only cheap to build and implement, but won't cost too much for people to use either. You don't have borders, you have freedom of communication, and you can get from the networks whatever you want. So it is uh, a world, it is not a Europe, it is a world of communicating people. Networks need to be rolled out. So what is it going to take, technically and practically speaking, to realize the goals of Muse? Nobody can do it alone. No vendor, no operator, no university. And by this size, that's essential. It's quite a task to get the more than 30 partners on the same track toward broadband for every European citizen. But the goals themselves are quite clear. In order to make it happen, uh, you need uh, standard solutions, interoperable solutions, to, so that uh, systems from different market segments can interoperate together. An important hurdle is uh, the fact that we are so many uh, competitors, that you need first a level of trust before you start sharing your, your views. An also important hurdle is, is simply the fact, the size. It, it, it has a lot of inertia to get this consortium moving. And uh, inertia also means that you need uh, to be careful to move it in the right direction. A key component for Muse is low cost. Not just for consumers, but for operators. So the ingredients of the network will be both old and new. We have already many solutions today and it is a matter of migration with existing solutions and bring it together. But when we implement, we will definitely learn what we have forgotten. And then new market views will definitely change our views after Muse. A telecom network is, is, is a migrating network taking the best of technologies that are around at that time. A project like this, with all its elements, cannot go untested. Even the testing has to be tested. We are about end-to-end, full-service access solutions. So you want to test that. So the first two things that we are going to solve in the lab trials is describing two documents, what to test and then how to test. By the year 2010, we'll start seeing how Muse has changed our lives. If you go to a computer shop, buy a gadget and you come home, it works immediately. But you, in the end, want to have only one bill. That means competing operators and competing providers are over the same access network offering their, their services. And then there's how to bring it all into our living rooms. Today we have internet access through a PC, basically. But we start already seeing set-top boxes within the uh, internet uh, connection, uh, TV sets, Game Boys, refrigerators, alarms, uh, you name it. And if the transformation in Europe goes as well as it has here in Arjeplog, it'll be a smooth glide into the future. Thanks for watching this Telecom Report. See you next time. Thank <laughs> you.